R D. Okay, we're ready to go. If you want to give me your rubric, I will. Uh, we can get started with these. Just so you can honestly, here's here's what here's the big comparison, right? Is that's the thing that is the only thing that compares apple to apples. But it's nice to say, okay, which one has the fastest, and then you'll be able to see, okay, is that based on the generation? Is it based on the speed and the generation? I mean, obviously, all those things go together. But the access time is the only one that we can compare straight between one and another. Where do I put my glasses? Looking at something, you're going to be something. I turn around and set it down somewhere. I'm going to be squinting the whole time. I guess I can use these glasses. Okay, Chef, you can. Is everybody written that down? No, I'm sorry. Okay. General, how are the new laptops doing as far as batteries? I, I'm not going through hardly any batteries, so I mean I don't even I don't even empty a charger box a day with the new ones. So it's like seven to eight hours is like life. Yeah, and it seems like they're unless you get a bad one, but if you get a good one, try to stick with your good one and not swap it out and take the chance. Okay, so under subject, if you guys could put the company, that's what I really want there, and then the block is obviously O. Oh, that, I mean, I can obviously write it down, but that's what I'm asking when I say subject should have changed the rubric, so etc. Okay, can you can you minimize that? What? Can you minimize that yeah. sheet? Actually, do do me a favor, hit print on that. I'll use the print out of that on for me for myself. So the one with the little hourglass or the eyeglass? Oh, 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 no. Up. 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 Right, too far right, one back, right there. You just hit print. And then um, just minimize it because I'm going to want to show that to the next class. Okay. you can see and I'll be presenting to you uh, memory buying options for uh, lower end uh, gaming mo motherboard and uh, faster higher end uh, home PC. So about our company HyperX, uh, HyperX is a high performance gaming product division of Kingston Technology. We are located in Fountain Valley, California and we started in uh, 2002. HyperX products are the choice of top rated gamers, tech enthusiasts, and overclockers over wide. We produce memory, mice, headsets, mouse pads, SSDs, and more. There's uh, a picture of our main headquarters, the division of Kinston, and then on Google Maps, the red areas in there were located somewhere. So, first of all, the home motherboard. Um, so the memory specs for the MSI A uh, 320M Pro is so memory standard is DDR4, maximum memory is 32 gigabytes. Uh, it is dual channel and max bus speed is 2,667 hertz. So memory for the uh, faster end uh, home PC. Okay, go back one. 
So on this, on your guys, whenever you guys are doing the, the um, specs on the motherboard, I really want the whole thing on memory. So it, I'm sure it doesn't just take 266 and it wouldn't be hertz, right? It'd be megahertz. megahertz. Yeah. Okay, so you're only a million off. <laughs> um, but tell us all of it, because the whole point of going back to the original presentation is to say, okay, this is what the MSI A320M Pro VD Plus takes, and I'm now going to present you the fastest or the least expensive. I don't like using the word cheap, although I used it on the thing. Really, you're trying to show us the least expensive option. Cheap denotes uh, crappy. Mm -hmm. I mean, that word kind of, you know, if you say somebody's cheap, you're not really saying the same as he's thrifty, right? It's not a compliment to be called cheap, but it is not necessarily a, a a bad term to be called thrifty. So anyway, so just I'm just saying that for when you're talking about things like this. So I, I really want, and, and Kyle's first, I'm sorry, the chef is first, so that's why um, I, I'm not necessarily going to take off on his, but this is the kind of thing that, okay, I didn't get that one thing on mine that you guys can change while somebody else is getting presented if, if you forgot something like that. But on all these presentations, when we, when we say we're go, going it for that motherboard, we should get all the specifications that are relevant for that, that presentation, right? So we don't need to know about how much this motherboard costs. We don't need to know about what kind of hard drives it has. We're talking about memory, but we do want to know everything about the memory. And the, I mean, the only thing that's missing there is exactly which, you know, it should be 3,000 slash blah, blah, blah. So we know whether, from looking at that slide, whether the memory you're gonna present next is overclocked for this motherboard, it's not overclocked. And I, so that's the, that's the only line that's missing. All right. And then this is for the higher end uh, home PC. This is a uh, RAM we chose. So, um, for home PC, um, recommended is four gigabytes. So uh, I have a HyperX Fury four gigabyte one stick of it. Um, it is generation. Uh, the generation of it is DDR4. It speeds um, two thousand one hundred thirty-three megahertz to two thousand six hundred sixty-six. It is dual channel. Its um, CS latency is fifteen. It is not ECC. Its voltage is one point two volts. Timing is 15, 15, 15, 35. Access time is 5.16 nanoseconds, and you have a lifetime warranty with it as well. No, because really, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not going to take any points off on bandwidth, but that's what the, where that came from. So I'm, I am confused. Which one is the speed of this RAM? Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, this one, like... Uh, Let's click on the price. It's 266, I'm pretty sure. And you said, even though you've got a link to two because they didn't sell it as one? Is that what? Oh, no, uh, it no it's just, it's a picture, but there's just two. It, like, one well, of the why did you give us a picture of two? <laughs> okay, so, I, uh, 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 so it's really 215. I understand the, the pr one stick? Is 215? Yeah, this is the uh, higher end uh, for home. Holy cannolis. Okay, so this is, the speed is 266. Yeah. And, then, and then we can see the bandwidth right off there. It's 21300 is our bandwidth on that one. If, if, you know, nobody has to go and change them at this late of a, late of a time. And then, does it say on this one whether it supports dual or? I had dual channel on it. Okay. Now, it, here's the thing on, on this. Really, it's the motherboard that supports dual or quad or tri, right? And, and sometimes it won't say it supports dual channel, but if the motherboard's dual channel and you put in matching sticks, you're getting dual channel from it, okay? Um, usually, it only lists if it's a pack, and then it'll say dual channel because it's telling you that you're going to be able to do dual channel with this, just so you know. There was some confusion in, in the other class on that one as well, okay? so. You had 6099, but it's really it's 205 um, or 215. Oh, did I change it? For, for 4 um, gig of RAM, 215. It is the higher end one, though. So I had to do like the fastest one. Yeah, does it do your homework for you? Because that's pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, okay. And 5.6 nanoseconds was our computed time. Okay.
Go ahead, go. I mean ship. <laughs> Alright, so for the gaming motherboard... Uh, is the MSI uh, X399 SLI Plus SDR4. Its memory specs are, its memory standard is DDR4, maximum amount of memory is 128 gigabytes, channel supported is quad channel, and um, max bus speed is 2000. Okay, so let's go back to this motherboard. Now, a lot of students ask me, what, should I get two eights or should I get four fours? This motherboard is a perfect example of the one time I would say four fours would be better than two eights. I don't know what you got, and I wanted to say, I'm not saying either way is right or wrong. And the reason I say that is because it's got eight slots. You can use four of them, and you still have expansion, right? Whereas if your motherboard only has four slots, and I use all four of them, I have no expansion capability. Plus, because it does quad channel, I'm going to get the most out of my 16 gig of RAM for this gaming motherboard if I use the quad channel. But in the other class, students asked and said, well, should I use a four fours or should I use two eights? And my answer was always you should use two eights for expansion, but like I said, this one's already got eight eight open. There's no reason to only use two eights unless you're crazy and you're gonna put a ton of RAM in it. So Alright then for memory for the uh, lower end uh, Dude, can you go back one? I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, okay, so we just put the, the bus speed in there, we okay. So that's the only thing again I would I would have changed on that one. All right, so uh, an option for memory uh, for a gaming PC that I uh, recommended is 16. Probably should have done two 8 gigabytes, but I did one 16. Uh, its generation is DDR4. Uh, its speed is 2,000, 2,400 uh, megahertz. Channel is uh, dual. Uh, CS latency is 15. Uh, timing is 15, 15, 35 as well. Access time is 6.5 nanoseconds. Voltage is 1.5. Uh, it is not EC, and just like the other one, we have a uh, uh, lifetime warranty on. See, it, that's crazy to me that that 16 gig stick yeah, is there's, more there's expensive, expensive or less expensive than the 4 gig stick. There's some weird That's crazy. And this is a good example. I definitely would have done at least yeah. two eights um, because. You've got eight slots yeah. in that motherboard, yeah. and then, and that's why it's hard for me to answer the question when people ask a question like that because I don't know what motherboard we're talking about when you ask the question, right? So, I mean, if you wanted to get to 128 gig of RAM, you'd have to put in 16s. Yeah. However, why would anybody need 128 gig of RAM unless it's you're using it as a server? So I would have uh, at least done eights to take advantage of uh, your dual channel. But nothing wrong with what you selected. It's just that's. And then, so that the um, the bandwidth on this one, then it should be right on that slide. Maybe not. That's, not, that's surprising. Okay, so slide down to the specifications, just so we can write it on our on our yeah, right there. So nineteen. This is even slower than the. Now, was this was this that one the, the best, and this one's the least expensive? Yeah, this is the low end gaming, and I did the okay. best uh, okay. or the higher end. Uh, Which is part of the reason the price differential on this. Okay, gotcha. It's still crazy that that yeah would make that kind of a difference. <coughs> All right, then I have my citations. And then questions. So you chose that, did you choose that one because that was the cheapest way to get to 16 gig? Um, the well, least expensive way to get to I'm trying to think, there was, wait. I'm just um, curious if there uh, were, any, if there were uh, kit uh, channel, kit like, options that were less expensive. Uh, there were like, uh, what's it called, um, cheaper like 2 8 uh, gigabyte ones, but I figured since I had so much space on uh, my motherboard that I could just use, like, if I wanted to upgrade, use, like, multiple 16s. Yeah, you got eight slots. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but that's what, that's, I mean, because you would definitely see a difference there, especially if, if you are spend the same amount of money and you get four fours, you got, you still got, you could still add another 64 gig in there later. Mm -hmm. 
um, and you're going to get a performance increase by using that quad yeah. So, Okay, thanks Kyle. Any, any volunteer next? Okay. was created by a group of computer enthusiasts in 1989 who specialize in RAM products who are known for computer memory. Locate, we are located in Taiwan. We have distributors all over the world in North America, Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. We are located in Taipei, Taiwan, which is right at the tip, and then that is our Google. Today I will be showing you two different products that we have, one being our fastest memory cards for business motherboards and the other being our least expensive uh, memory for our home computers. So the first, uh, the motherboard that I was using for the business is the Asus Prime B350M and it was cut off that picture when I translated it over. So the number of memory slots is four, 288 pin, max uh, memory support is 64 gigabytes. Memory standard is DDR4, 3200 overclocked, and those are the rest. Um, it's dual channeled, and the motherboard bus speed is 2,666 megahertz. And it, just so everybody knows what she just said really quick and mumbly, was that she did it on Google Slides and then she downloaded it as a PowerPoint. Um, and that happens to me all the time. Um, it's not a big deal, but if I build it on one and then put it on the other, it usually works fine going PowerPoint to slides, but it doesn't work fine going fine going from slides to PowerPoint for some, for some reason. And I don't care if you put <coughs> it on a slide. So I mean if you're like got it all down and you got it the way one 
The only reason I usually go the other way is because PowerPoint has more themes. So if I start it in PowerPoint and I do a cool theme, then I upload the slide, the theme stays with it. Whereas on slides, there's really a limited number of, of theme options, I think, so. So for the business motherboard, or for the business motherboard, business memory, I picked the G-Skill Ripjaw V-Series. This is DDR4-3200. Uh, it has a capaci capacity of 8 gigabytes to 2 4 gigabytes. It's non parity, non ECC. Do channel, the cast latency is 16. The type is 288 pin, and the access time is 6.25 nanoseconds. And it's 108.99. And this is our fastest uh, memory for that specific. This was for your home? This is for our business. Business. And it was um, this? This is the fastest. Fastest, okay. I need to change. I'm, this is the first time I've done this chart, so I'm trying to figure out what else I should have added on there. I should have added capacity and then just a little checkbox to say whether it was fastest, whatever. So I need to, to tweak my, my little chart here. Can you go back, go back one? I'm sorry. There's one other I didn't. Okay. Oh, did you mention a warranty? Was that on oh, the slide? Oh, um, all of our products have a lifetime warranty okay. and can be returned or replaced within 30 days of purchasing. What happens after that? You have to. You don't get your money back. I mean, you can still return. Oh, okay, it okay. You, so, you, <laughs> so you can still replace it, but you can only return it within 30 days. Okay, gotcha. Which, by the way, that memory that the Air Force bought didn't have any warranty. I never, I never seen memory that didn't have warranty. So, um, so the home motherboard that I picked is the ASUS Prime A3220 MK. The number of memory slots is two, and they're 288 pin. The max memory supported is 32 gigabytes. Standard memory is DDR4 3200 overclocked. It's dual channel, and the motherboard best speed is 2,666 megahertz. Yeah, I'm just trying to write down a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> real fast. So. so I put the G Skill A Agus, I believe it's called. It's DDR4 2400. The capacity is 4 gigabytes. It's non -par parity, non ECC, single channel. The cast latency is 15, and the access time is 6 nanoseconds. Okay, so $49. For this G Skill stick, and this compared to two hundred and fifteen dollars, and and now the the his was faster. This had a, a access time of five point six versus six. That is 0.4 nanoseconds worth one hundred and sixty bucks. That's a that's per stick. That's crazy. Okay, I'm sorry. We question. Yes. What is this? Like? What is this? Oh, this is for this is least expensive for home mother. Definitely not as fast. This was uh, bandwidth is twenty one three hundred. This is nineteen two hundred. This is dual ch single channel. See, and I, you know, I don't, I don't even know whether that's a. I mean, obviously it's single channel because we have one stick, right? But I don't know that that the RAM even determines that anyway. I, I really think the motherboard determines the channel. I had a really difficult time finding a, yeah, a I mean, G scale. You'll see it listed on some RAMs and not listed on others, but I really don't think the RAM, I, I, sh I don't want to say it wrong, does, uh, doesn't have that much to do with it. As long as I bought, if I bought two of these and put them in a motherboard that did dual channel, I am 99% sure I'm going to get dual channel performance from it because it's just reading and writing to that stick in the way the motherboard is programmed to read and write from the, to the stick. I, I, I don't know. I really, honest. That's a weakness in my in my brain that I need to, to do a little research on. Um, not being someone who makes RAM, but I don't see how if you bought two of those and your motherboard did dual channel that you wouldn't get dual channel performance from. So here are my citations. 
No, go back. You didn't even let me focus on that. <laughs> what is what is the robot thing? It's when that's the way. Is that that's how it comes out? Yeah. It says the author, and it says robot. <laughs> So so is 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 uh, Easy Bib putting the word robot in there? Yeah. 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 I, I, I probably they, would put the word new egg in there if I was you, <laughs> and not robot. I don't think ro I think I don't think we're there that robots are writing periodical reviews. Okay. Yes, ma'am. No. Oh, I, so. I said that's why I have a question. Oh, okay. okay. So I said I have a question. I was like, got you. Okay. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? So, so far, everything's been fourth generation. I, I didn't get your um, latency on the last stick. I didn't write it down. What was the latency 15. on that one? 15. Okay. So, every single one has been 15 so far, except for your business was 16. I had a hard time finding any more of that that matched what my motherboard needed. I had a okay. really hard time. There, this one. there. The, the most you're ever going to see off in the same generation is usually one, like we just saw. There, there, it's not like you're going to see one that says four and one that says nineteen. They're all very, very, very close. Um, okay, hold on a second. Let me let me get this and then put it on do not disturb. Yes. <laughs> yes. for everything, but ECS motherboards are just... Are you not. complaining again? What do you mean <laughs> ECS motherboard? That has nothing to do with your motherboard. But yeah, one of the motherboards, I realized, is for laptops. <laughs> and I was like, oh. You never gave me permission, so. <laughs> just shift it.
Well, you may have to re redo the link if, if it gave you a different link. Oh, we can just put the link in there. Well, we're just looking for your email address. Email and say yes to the access the email that I just sent you. All right. You're not going to take off for it being laptop <laughs> motherboard. Which that is. should have been caught last time we did it. How did we not catch that? I really do not. <laughs> if, if I did my gaming. As long as you do your board. memory, the right memory. Hey, are you going to click yes and give me access? I just did. Wait, you shared it to me somehow. No, oh, I pasted a picture. You requested <laughs> access. Would you accept that? You should have gotten like 20 emails at this point. Yeah, he has it, but it... Did you go to Gmail and just say yes? Click on it again, and it says open sharing. Oh, it doesn't just have a... Uh, yeah, it just shares right back to me, and I was like, yeah. How many times do we have this open? <laughs> yeah, it opened like 12 times, quite a bit. I was trying. <laughs> but you got it, but you didn't say yes. You, you have to finish it. <laughs> I, I sent it to him. It sent it. Maybe I had to send it again. Well, I don't, it doesn't matter if you send it. You still have to share it. I know that seems crazy, but... They can't make things easy for me. Okay. My name is Jack Sparrow, and I am from Corsair, and I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of our RAM that we have to support the motherboards that we showed, or that ECS showed you guys. Corsair, I wanted to talk a little bit about it, about where it's at. The headquarters is in Vermont and CA, found in 1994. <laughs> Bad on you. I think it's Fremont, California. <laughs> yeah, it's California. There's not two E's, but I think it's pronounced Fremont. Fremont. Our company was found by Corsair Microsystems in 1994 by Andy Paul, Don Liverman, and John Bankley. And on to our motherboard. The motherboard is the, the pins. It, that it has, it has 240 pin slots. The memory standard is DDR3 1600 and 1333. The maximum memory supported for this motherboard is 16 gigabytes and it supports dual champ. Obviously, this isn't the motherboard you said is for the wrong thing. No, no, it's not. Uh, the memory for the home motherboard, its name is Vengeance. The speed is uh, 2133 megahertz. The, the latency is 11. The RAM size is 8192 megabytes. The computer memory type is DDR3 SD RAM. The pinout is 240 pins, so it fits into the motherboard. And it is ECC <coughs> and it's parity. Its access time is 5.15. Seconds. Yeah, hold on a second. And also, if you get two, you can put it in to the motherboard. But that's only the price of one. But there is an option to buy two. So are you saying it is ECC? Yeah, it is ECC. And your motherboard takes ECC? Yes. I'd like, no, you to, I did. I'd like you to click on this, on the price well, first. Yeah, the warranty is probably on our main website for it, if I can scroll down to it.
this is the main website you can buy it from because on Newegg right now it's out of stock so I can't really show you the price for that but it's a lot cheaper on Newegg than it is on our original site if they were to have it yeah if they were to <laughs> have it on stock but it's seventy five ninety nine. is this your cheap home? this is my fastest home and my business one that I'm going to be showing you next is going to be the cheapest. <laughs> Don't judge. Right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Alright. Here's the troublesome guy right here. He's got soda, which is. That doesn't look like a. No, it doesn't. Well, that doesn't mean it's a. That doesn't mean it's for a laptop. I know, it but it takes laptop a, RAM. And that's what I'm. Oh, saying. okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay, so, so I mean, that's it's still it's was. it's basically a, a. It's a motherboard. Right. It's yeah. a micro <laughs> ATX motherboard made to go in something really really small. Yeah. Um, but it's still it's still a desktop. I thought you were saying you can grab a laptop motherboard, but it takes so dims instead because it's too small. Yeah. To fit, fit a regular game. Okay, I got you. So now. that's what I was going on. Okay. All right. The pin size, it, or how many pins it has, is 204 pins. It, its memory, memory uh -huh. standards is DDR3, uh, 1333, and 1066. And the maximum memory supported is 16 gigabytes, and it is dual channel supported. Two slots are right there. They they're sideways. Just like on a laptop. Just like they go on a laptop. So I mean, honestly, the the computer we just put in uh, Mr. Parker's office behind his TV could very well be a small. Well, I didn't look at the RAM when we worked on it because I didn't have to open it up. But um, if you look at one of the little thin client ones, they, they those do take full size RAM. But if they were just a smidgen smaller, they wouldn't fit full size RAM. So, all right. Okay. And the uh, business motherboard RAM. I got a couple pictures over there for you. And the uh, latency is seven. And here's the timing. It's ECC. It is parity, and it is two o four pins DDR three sodium. So it fits into it. The speed is uh, ten sixty six megahertz. And its access speed is 6.56 nanoseconds. I got the link for that. Okay, so let, let's stop right here because this is a good spot for us to talk about one of the additional readings that you guys had um, in the book. One of the things talked about in this section was called the memory wall. Is is memory, is the access time on our memory appreciably different between his 1066 DDR3 and Kyle's uh, 2666 or, or let's go to Rice's 3200 um, DDR4? And the answer is almost nothing different, right? His access time is 6.56 nanoseconds, her was 6.25. The, the motherboard generations are changing so that they can talk at the speed, I'm sorry, the memory generations are changing so they can talk at the speed of the faster motherboards. But in reality, is the memory getting that much faster? And the answer is no, it's not. And that's what that memory wall is talking about. It can only read and write so dang fast. So it's taking more cycles to write to it, and, and realistically, the access times are barely changing. But we still had to change generations because we had to change the way we wrote to it because the motherboards now are going at 3,000 megahertz as opposed to 1,000 megahertz, right? So that's why the generations changed, but really you're not seeing a humongous difference in the overall access time, which is why if you watch that video from uh, Linus Tech Tips, I think I embedded it on 
which RAM should you buy, you don't get a huge difference. Right? I'm not saying you don't get any difference, but you don't get a huge difference if you're spending a whole bunch of money on 3,000 overclocked RAM versus the 2,400 native RAM. The difference is almost almost nothing. Yes, it's faster. And what you're really getting is you're not getting a change in RAM speed. You're getting a change in the effective motherboard speed. So it's talking everything faster, but really the RAM's not moving that much faster. So that's why we calculated the excess time, to just kind of give you a way to compare apples to apples as opposed to just the other numbers. Okay, sorry. All right. 38, 33, 48. Wait, did you need that? Oh, wait, yeah. I didn't, I had I need to go to the website real quick. And this was our, which one was this? The home. I thought the last one. I mean the business, the business. business cheapest. So, um, really we should have two of these then. Yeah, you can. Oh, did you write 66? Oh. So it's 74.99. So really our sh link should have said 74.99. Yes. On there, going yeah. on business. I was okay. just stating that oh. you could get one, but if you were to Which get we to the care about. Don't give us information that we can ask. I gotta give you all the options. All the options. Okay, so really we want to buy two of these. Yes. You Each stick is four, but we're buying two. Okay, gotcha. Because I thought you were saying you could get eight gig for thirty-three forty-eight, in which case we need to order some memory. Because that's a really good deal. I'll sell okay. them on eBay. Alright. This is my work side. I'm gonna agree with your grade that you gave yourself. I although it's a pretty background. It's a hard to read background on some of the slides. Yeah. So you didn't give yourself five points, and I agree with you. I can give yourself five points. So if you said I was going to give myself five points, why don't you just change the background? Give yourself five points. I didn't think I did. Because it, I mean, it's it's cool, but at some of the places it was hard for me to read. So. Okay. Yeah, I, I I had someone read it on my laptop, but I should have probably came in here and intervention. If see if. if and that's true. I've, I've been to lots of presentations where somebody's sitting there and it looks perfectly good on the laptop and as soon as they throw it up on an LCD projector, we can't read it at all. In fact, I went to a graduation one time. That's why I tried to keep the words out of this out yellow. Out of the right. As soon as it hit, hit the bottom, it was impossible. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Jack, any Sparrow. questions for Mr. Sparrow? I, will, I need to remember to take ECS out of the motherboard options for next year. It's so just really hard to no one gets that. Stuff. Like I could do other motherboards, but I wouldn't have the prices for them. Okay, who's next? Fresh, just to make sure it's the yeah. correct one. Skill was we were established in 1989 by enthusiasts. We are the leading memory module manufacturer based in Taipei, Taiwan. With traditional strengths, we have built an excellent reputation by meeting market demand, um, fostering business competitiveness both locally and internationally. With our dedication to provide competitive prices, and with our on-time delivery, shared quality, customer oriented services and delivery delivery of products and here's our glowing faithful headquarters I was from Google <laughs> and then our uh, this is our um, fastest for our gaming motherboard will be the memory and on um, memory standard is DDR4 dim sockets and speed supported is the 
the biggest overclock is 4,133, and then the highest um, non-overclock is 2,400. And maximum memory is 64 gigabytes, has four slots, and dual channel. Then the memory is the F4 2400C 15Q. The amount of RAM is 64. It's uh, 4 times 16, but it is not quad um, channel. It's dual channel. Um, Why are you giving it 64 gig? You're only supposed to give it 16 gig. Well, it's 16 what times 4. Well, we went into a total of 16, not 16 times um, 4. I mean, it's fast. Well, I, 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 yes. Yes. So the idea is that we would be seeing four for the homes, eight for the business, and 16 total for the gamers because that's what a normal gamer would want. I thought it was like at least, at least 16. No, it was 16. Dang it. So you're a little bit high. That's why I was like, how could 16 gig RAM be $951? Uh, well, now I understand. Okay, it's a DDR4 generation, and speed is 2,400. With a um, bandwidth of 19200, access time is 6.25 nanoseconds, and the la latency is 15, and then um, it's non-ECC and non-buffered, and it has a limited lifetime warranty. What does that mean? That means um, you got warranty for your whole life, but you can return it. <laughs> you can re like return it if someone has to you. Well, usually, life. the word limited means something. Well, limited is you can't limited by get one. your money back. Okay. And many times, just so you guys know, many times limited means it's a lifetime warranty as long as we're still making it, which really is not a lifetime warranty, right? Yeah. Uh, a true lifetime means that if we don't make it, we'll give you the best thing we've got that replaces it. And I'm not saying this means that, but many times limited lifetime means as long as we make F4 2400C, we'll send you another stick. But if we don't make it anymore, too bad for you. That's usually the limit. In, in fact, all of like our switches have limited lifetime warranties, which basically, as soon as they say it's not really new anymore, they don't replace it. Because I had that with one that I about freaked out. It was a really expensive switch. And they're like, well, that was a limited lifetime warranty. I'm like, well. Uh-oh, I have a virus. <laughs> just say yes. <laughs> yes, just say yes. <laughs> but is it, it's, it's it, do I get to change the colors of it? Is it yeah, colored? you can change the colors. That's why four is better. <laughs> you can like make it rainbowy. How do you stuff. change the color on the thing? I have no idea. Probably buy it. You're the one selling it to <laughs> us. Don't sell us stuff you didn't read about. Here, scroll down. I want to see what it says. Does is it, it say down on the specifications? Play the game. Uh, you want? Specifications? Or, or go down a little bit. Or is okay. it? Or are they just differently colored? Hold on. No, it's they've all got lights on them. Yeah, it's RGB. The video showed them like vibrating different colors. Yeah, you can make it like cool. downloadable software. It's like the previous oh, one. Oh, yeah, they're colors. downloadable software. So it's probably like so an you can give yourself a stroke while you're looking. Yeah, at yeah, look at that. Yeah. Like more Syracuse. Look at that. I mean, you see, you can do blue or all purple. So pretty. Can you make it <laughs> rainbow? <laughs> yes, you can make it Well, gosh, that justifies that $951 right <laughs> off the bat, just for the pretty colors. You have okay. the best case on the block. Yes, sir. Yeah, what if what if you bought that and realized you didn't have a clear case? And you'd be like, oh, you could open just, it Just off. open it up. Just show it off. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, and then this is the um, cheapest business, or... Not cheapest, the low end. This is <laughs> um, memory standards DDR4, and it's uh, 2400. Um, maximum memory is 64 gigabytes on this, and the number of memory slots is four, and it's dual channel. And then this is the amount of RAM. This is the F4 2000C 17S, and amount of RAM is eight gigabytes DDR4 generation. Uh, speed is 2,400, and bandwidth is 1,920. Access time is 7.08 nanoseconds, and um, cast latency is 17. Has single channel and non-ECC, non-buffered, with limited lifetime warranty.
Okay, so this is our slowest RAM yet, right? Not only does it have an access time outside of our other ones, I just said you're probably only going to see off by one, but we had uh, 15 and 16 before. This one's a ca uh, cast latency of 17, so the same speed RAM just dropped down to, that's the, the highest time, over uh, the first one over 7 nanoseconds, or over 6. Everything else has been 5. But you said it was our least expensive option. Yep. $91.99. And this is one 2 gig stick or 8 gig stick? One 8 gig. One 8 gig stick. That doesn't seem the least expensive to me. I mean, it may be the least expensive G scale. It just yeah. doesn't seem Yeah, it's like the only one that was compatible with, with yours. It. Yeah, because there's some least, least expensive ones. Because let me see, who else has had um, DDR2400? I had that same one, but mine was in. And how much was yours? I'm trying to find you. The one, right the four gigabyte one, uh, if you do two of them, it came out to 94. And so this was cheaper by two bucks. Rissa, your second one, what, oh, your, your home. Ah, it's about the same price. Yours was $49 for one. So, yeah. would, I mean, it's about the same price for, we doubled that guy. Okay. And then here's my work cited, and then, and then any questions? You want to have Mr. anything Krabs. for Mr. Krabs? Yes. Where can I get the download for the for the download <laughs> for the RGB so I can customize the RAM? Well, you have to have nine hundred dollars first. <laughs> I already have the RAM. Just say it's our G skill side under oh, the support yeah, section. Can you tap dance that? Yeah. Definitely. But you don't have the it's money. <laughs> you don't have the cash to buy our memory. How dare you say that? I mean, I'm not saying that isn't cool to see that memory, but we were a little off the topic there. Yeah, 64 gig. Yeah. Right, right, Although that's that was 64 gig for 951 dollars. Wow. When we bought our server memory, I think I spent 500 for 64 gig. Does the server have? <laughs> it doesn't have the pretty colors. It does not have the I, It might have been G skill though. I need to look and see what I bought more I bought it. But it's gone up since then. Why are you not presenting? Four minutes. Well, go! No. I'm just kidding. I saw, I saw a thing. It's had the price like dropping and hiring. It's like really high now. It was like 700 like 90 when it first came out. Okay, just so we know, we all expect Ms. Corwin's to have everything fixed and she didn't have to do hers today. Oh, so I have extra time to fix it? Well, yeah. I mean, you're not going to present for two days. I'll so. make it prettier. Okay, does anybody have any questions about this part? Basically, next class, you guys are going to have time to um, work on your uh, blog post because the other class has got going to take them two days to present it. So you guys are just going to have free time to um, work on the next class after Ms. Corwin presents hers.